Help support our coverage using Blueberry, the community that gives creators the ability to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get 30 days to try out the service using promo code BLUEBERRY004. That's B-L-U-B-R-R-Y-004. Well, good morning, sir. How are you? Hi, nice to meet you. I'm good. And you? I'm good. I'm Don Bain, the Gadget Professor, and uh, I saw you here early this morning, so yeah. you're, you must be excited to, yeah, to, I am. to do this. I am, I am. Okay, I got a lot of questions for you. Great, great. You get re- are you rested last night? You, let, you got rest? Well, more or less, let's say. Were you out partying? <laughs> no, 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 we were sleeping. <laughs> okay, just, just checking. Okay, tell me all about Chat 3D. I got an yeah. idea, but I, I, I don't know. So, well, basically, I guess, you know, like uh, generative AI, such as like uh, Mid Journey, yes. um, uh, AI turning like uh, prompt description to image. Uh, well, basically, we are doing the same thing, but uh, we are doing 3D models at the end. So, okay. our first clients are like the gaming industries, uh, the virtual reality, all that, and as well as e-commerce or engineering as well. Now, did you bring us any video, any audio, anything to see this? I did not. Felix, this is <laughs> this is a big thing here. Yeah, you yeah. Have any video? Uh, I guess people could just go check it out on your website, which is chat3d.ai. Okay. And there's plenty of Chat videos. Chat3d.ai, yeah. yeah. okay. Yeah, we just uh, also released uh, a, beta, a closed beta test. Uh, so people just can just go try and check it out uh, okay. on the website. Who is this geared for? Who's your product geared for? Currently, uh, we have a lot of clients uh, in the gaming industry. It's more or less uh, like tailor-made for them um, because like uh, they're really into searching for being uh, more and more efficient, and generative AI is a good answer for them. Uh, because uh, it's, a, it's a great solution because uh, it, like instead of uh, spending hours uh, using a, a complicated software, uh, you just have to just prompt uh, the software and the AI is just turning a 3D model, it's creating a 3D model for you in like 20 seconds to two minutes. So Now yeah. how long has this company been around? Uh, we just created, we, we just founded in, in France, we incorporated in France and uh, we, we, we've been created in like uh, in the end of the summer, and just uh, we, we just launched uh, the product uh, at, the, at the CES. So not even a year? Yeah, not even a year, yeah. And you're already at CES? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, that's pretty impressive. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I got some tough technical questions yep. for you. sure. How did you start this company yep. using AI when AI hasn't been out for more than, I don't know, a year or two-ish? Yeah. How do you? How, so does, how did this happen? Be- basically, like uh, we were in school, in an in engineering school in France, and we were working a, on a, another startup, which was about uh, creating machine tools, and we really saw that the mar- market was broken on uh, in terms of like three D modeling. So we felt that it could be a great thing to use generative AI, which was just an emerging thing at the, at this moment. And we found that it could be used to create 3D models from that. So the AI, it, it was just an ID at first, and we like uh, worked with a research lab, all that. And now it's like uh, we, we are applying a lot of uh, research paper to, to create chat 3D, actually. And how long did that take? A lot. It's yeah. Just, uh, yeah, it's really time consuming. So uh, we, we worked on that for like uh, maybe five months. Okay. Uh, before all getting uh, like a, f- a first team VP. Right. And yeah, today it's did like. Did you uh, finish school? I did not actually, <laughs> but uh, I'm currently like in uh, in school in Canada, so exploring the the US and uh, the Canadian market actually. So for, you're, in, uh, you're in Canada now? Yeah, in Montreal. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that makes sense, French. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. At sure. least you can understand <laughs> the language. There. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, What's the pricing on your on your model? So currently, it's just about the service fee. So it's really affordable for the customers, and uh, depending on like consumption, uh, we just give you some credits, and you go on the website and spend the credits according to what you're doing on the website. Yeah. Okay. Now tell me, what would the the you know we have lots of people watching this live. Some of them aren't aren't catching on to what it is. So what would they do with your product? Do they have to be gamers necessarily to, to no, appreciate this? No, so not at all. Let's try yeah. to clarify yeah. that so, for them. So to be clear, like anyone could use Chat 3D. It's like uh, you do not have to get any knowledge in uh, 3D modeling at first. So it could be like uh, your kid, like uh, your, your grandma, anyone in, in your family. 
and uh, what we what we want is a user to like uh, express the creativity through the software. So uh, we have a lot of clients in gaming, but we have also some uh, some customers who are just using it for 3D printing, for instance, because they don't they get a, a for 3D, 3D printing. Yeah, yeah. So okay, go ahead. Because like they get a 3D printer at home, but they don't they are not really expert at the 3D modeling. So chat 3D is a good solution for them, because like in like much of seconds they can. Would they have scan 3D in? The, would they scan in? No, they do not. They just describe what they want. Uh, oh, so it's based on word description. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like a word description, and they can also implement drop an image. Like for instance, for example, they take uh, this table uh, with uh, with the phone. And then they just uh, send the image to the software, and the software is turning it into 3D. So, so yeah. can you fine tune that when you say this needs to be a little bit larger, a little bit smaller? Uh, for now, you can't, but uh, it's going to be an improvement in the, the in the future that we're going to uh, just drop it a few. Okay, few months, and when yeah. it's done, you're going to get the 3D printout or data of those coordinates, yeah. so that it could be fed into. Yeah. You get the numbers, if you will. Yeah. The mathematics that are going to go into yeah. the printer. Uh, more or less, currently. Yeah. Currently, it's like really early stage. Right. So it's more like about uh, yeah the, um, the 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 geometry is not completely implemented, but in a uh, in few months it will be. Yeah. So is printing the one of the primary outputs of this? Uh, it's it currently it's not. It's more about uh, you be being used virtually, like a lot of people using like a VR headset and all that. Uh, using chat 3D because um, 3D modeling is really time consuming. Oh, yeah. So now they can just, uh, in a few seconds, create a old scene or a so old ecosystem. So you could design that. games with this, essentially, yeah. with, the th with the 3D modeling. Yeah, yeah, C completely, completely. Like, uh, um, actually, like, uh, creating, uh, when creating a game, like, uh, Actually, creating all the 3D assets is taking like uh, 60 to 70 percent of the of the time to market, and so we reduce that oh, yeah. a lot. It could be like nine, uh, 95 percent quicker for for this part. So it's a uh, it's a game changer. That's yeah, very exciting, them. and I can't wait to see how the product develops. Well, well, yeah. Thanks yeah. a lot. Well, uh, leave your card with Enza, and then. Uh, where could people find out more information? Uh, so they can uh, check our website, which is uh, chat3d.ai. Okay, so it's and chat, C-H-A-T, 3, the number 3, D, at A-I. Yeah, yeah. Thanks a lot. Excellent. Good luck to you. I hope everything works out. I'll be uh, following your product to see uh, how it evolves. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Good luck to you. The Tech Podcast Network CES 2024 coverage is executive produced by Michelle Mendez. Technical directors are Kurt Corliss and Adam Barker. Associate producers are Nancy Ertz, Clinton Millsap, Sergio Velasquez, and Terry Willingham. Voiceover by Aaron Hurst. Our hosts are Marlo Anderson, Don Bain, Todd Cochran, Scott Ertz, and Christopher Jordan. Studio and equipment are provided by Plug Hits Productions. This has been a Tech Podcast Network broadcast, copyright 2024.